Hello, this is Heike Fricke. Welcome to Leipzig University's Musical Instruments Museum, to which I will refer to as MIUL. In February 2021, a new research center, Digital Organology, was established at the MIUL. Already in the past few years, a number of externally funded digitization and research projects started at the museum, which are now all bundled in the research center, Digital Organology. We understand digital organology not only as a digital facet of instrumental sounds and areas of their use, but actually as a knowledge context around organology, both preservation of knowledge and methods of knowledge acquisition have become very digitized in the scientific developments of, say, the last generation and a half. Our methods are extremely shaped by virtual tools and procedures, and the repository of knowledge is no longer printed paper, but the virtual medium. In this development, we are trying to reorient organology. As you might imagine, we are working in close and fruitful cooperation with our colleagues from the so-called Image and Signal Processing Group at the University of Leipzig. We understand our collection of historic musical instruments as a research reservoir and we want to expand this pool of research material into a central repository of knowledge. Firstly for the University of Leipzig and then of course also for organology for this very important but quantitatively small area of musicology. For this purpose, we are developing a research tool, the Music Explorer, which I would like to introduce to you. The Music Explorer is a virtual reference work in both organology and musicology. It includes central lexical areas of persons, corporations, works objects, places, events, items, and dictionaries. It thus consists of seven repositories. The first repository of Music Explorer is a lexicon of persons, Musici. This, including the other repositories, currently consists of the following subsets, including the Bavarian Musicians Lexicon Online. Loki is an integrated place database. Bake mainly contains objects from the collection of the Mimo, while Catalogus mainly contains media, such as books or piano rolls from the holdings of the Mimo. Kaze, on the other hand, is a subsection of Music Explorer in which various institutions such as orchestras, universities and instrument-making companies, are listed. Eventa lists events, such as the production or documentation of an object. And in Res, terms are listed, such as the general terms Hammerflügel or Notenrolle, but also terms like data literacy or materials for instrument-making. How do you work with a music explorer? What are its characteristic features and peculiarities? This can be best seen in a case study. This one is dedicated to the subject of piano making. It all begins with finding out something about the instrument maker Ludwig Bösendorfer. The easiest way? You look him up in Musici. Under the name Bösendorfer, you reach two entries. By clicking on the name in question, you can access the complete dataset. In the upper part of the dataset, you will find all the essential biographical information, such as life data, profession and gender. If you click on the individual relationships, you will also be shown the network of the person in question, either as with which other persons or institutions the person was connected. Further down, the user will find additional information and links to other databases, websites, bibliographies and more. An example of this is the GND, Gemeinsame Normdatei, an identifier of the 
GNB, the German National Library. If you are interested in Franz Wirth, a student of Bösendorfer, you can click on his name to view his record. Since the dates of Franz Wirth's life are not known, the period in which he was active is noted instead. Through an automatic link with Loki, it is also possible to see on a graphic where Wirth was active. This graphic is located directly below the visualization of his network of contacts. Directly under the place of activity Vienna, one discovers two events which are linked to instruments in the Nimur which were made by Franz Wirth. The note under Title Media points out to the user in which work or works, in this case an encyclopedia, the respective person can be found. With just one click, you can go to Catalogus to find out what the full title of the work is and which persons are listed in this encyclopedia, among others. After this little digression, we return to the piano maker Franz Wirth, this time with a focus on his place of activity. If you wonder who else was active in Vienna besides Wirth, you can use one of Music Explorer's internal links to get to the Loki record, again with just a single click. First you get a general overview of what kind of place it is and where it is located. Then you can get an overview of who was born or worked in Vienna, for example, as well as which events from Music Explorer are linked to Vienna in which catalogus entries Vienna plays a role and with which external identifiers Vienna is linked. As from the Loki record, for example, the piano maker Nanette Streicherstein was also active in Vienna. Nanette Streicherstein can show a relatively large network of relationships, as is also clear from a visualization. In addition, further connections can be seen at Streicherstein. This shows that their instruments were traded by Friedrich Wieck und Breitkopf und Hertel. Via the network link, the user can access the CASAE repository to find out more about Breitkopf and Hertel. Breitkopf and Hertel was more than a music publisher. The company was also active in piano trading and piano building. Several keyboard instruments produced by Breitkopf and Hertel are, as you can see in Music Explorer, also in the collection of the Mimur. One of these Object is Nemo Inventory Number 4506 Table Piano, which was built in Leipzig in the mid 19th century. Under the category of events, it is also noted, in addition to the manufacturer, that this object is currently on display in the Nemo and was subjected to documentation both in 1988 and at the beginning of 2020. With this example, it was possible to see how the links and connections in Music Explorer work and which search mechanisms or possibilities arise the result. The data model provides for a faceted description of the entities of all seven repositories. These guarantee a semantic linking of these repositories and the keen access of distant reading tools to knowledge context. The Music Explorer also offers other advantages, such, such as visualizations through various diagrams, which I will briefly show with combined search terms and filters. If you want to get an overview of piano builders working in Vienna, this is also possible with Music Explorer using special search and filter options. You can combine the two search fields Musical Activity, Piano Maker, with the place of activity Vienna.
First you get a timeline with dates of life and work as well as a map on which various places such as places of birth, work and death are visualized. In addition, the network of relationships of the, of the person searched for is displayed further down. You can also see that it was mainly men who worked as piano builders in Vienna and that the piano builders also worked as entrepreneurs, for example. After this introduction to Music Explorer, I would now like to talk about some of our research projects and how you can find them. The task of the Tustin project comprised the indexing of museum objects. 36 keyboard instruments and 3,200 piano rolls from our collection were to be digitized and made accessible in their knowledge contexts. Another goal was the interactive oralization of historic musical instruments with their historic sounds. Here is an overview of the keyboard instruments which have been digitized. On the left hand side you see a list of the instruments which were included in this project. On the right hand side there is a timeline where you can see when the instruments were built, when they were bought, when they were repaired, when they were documented and when they were digitized. The map offers you an overview where the instruments were built, bought or presented. The diagram offers a choice of instruments after terms, items and types of musical instruments. You can of course pick one of the instruments from the list in order to get more information about it. Let us choose the Hammer Klavier 1097. It has one stop, one manual and 68 keys. It is linked to four events, which are, for example, the event of making with time, place and maker, or the event of documentation and digitalization. Linked media are, for example, books and dictionaries, as well as photos, measurement matrices, restoration reports, and the recordings of every note in three different dynamics. On the right hand side, you can get photos of the instrument and a visualization of the string parts we measured in this project. You can also get a virtual keyboard that you can play with your mouse with the original sounds of this very instrument. You can also play this Streicherflügel with your computer keyboard. We also offer the sound of the digitized instrument for download, so that you can use it on your own keyboard instrument at home. Of course, you have the possibility to see more information about the instrument in the MIMO database. If you want to get more information about the Tasten project, you can click on the project in order to get some information, for example, about who worked in this project. We had a lot of events like workshops, lectures, documentation, altogether more than 13,000. The second part of the Tasten project was the digitization of piano rolls. The search result for this project shows 3,361 piano rolls. The timeline shows that most of these objects had been made between 1900 and 1930. As an example, I would like to search for female pianists of which we have piano rolls in our collection. If you choose one piano roll on the left hand side, you will get as a result a piano roll for the Hupfeld Trifonola player piano with an impromptu by Franz Schubert. First you will get the properties of the piano roll like number of tracks, accessories, weight, 
masses. Among the adventure, you will find information on date of making, the compu composer, the virtuoso, the maker of the piano roll, etc. On the right hand side, you get a picture of the beginning with the information that is printed on the piano roll. A scan of the whole piano roll is also available. You will be able or you are able to listen to the piano roll. Clicking on Teresa Carreño, you will get more information about this pianist, to whom she was married, with whom she studied, about her pupils and colleagues. The map gives a visualization of place of birth, places of her professional activities and place of death. Moreover, her name is linked to 13 further piano rolls that she recorded in our collection. Of course, you can click on any composer, like for example Franz Schubert, in order to see what objects are linked to his name. 112 piano rolls in the Mimo collection. If you want to know more about the Chase and Baker company, you could click on that. The company existed between 1884 and 1910 in Buffalo, New York. There are 14 piano rolls in our collection. If you want to know more about the item piano roll, you can click on this and you will get a comprehensive list of all the different brands of piano rolls with their properties like material, paper width, color of paper, number of tracks, number of playable notes, com compass, etc. We also documented the Tasten project in a video, which you can find in Catalogus, just typing in Tasten video. You will find it in German, Spanish or English. And here you go. was das für eine Revolution war. Solche Aufnahmen, die von berühmten Pianisten der Zeit eingespielt wurden, deren Name heute noch leuchtet, aber von denen wir sonst gar nichts hören konnten. Und wir können auf diese Weise die Instrumente erfahren, hören, erleben, auf denen Domenico Scarlatti oder Franz Liszt oder Max Reger damals gespielt haben. In the application of distant reading methods, Music Explorer offers numerous visualizations, for example, diagrams, maps, chronological overviews, networks, and numerous filter options in the search. I hope that this has provided a first insight into Music Explorer, and I hope you have fun trying it out for yourself, and I hope that we will see soon.